One year ago today, a burst of gunfire ended two lives in Central City. Tonight, Vanessa Bellana reports on a community coming together to remember. I ain't gonna study in one no more. Emotions were on display as residents took to the streets in Central City this evening. It's been really tough. I mean, just to lose her the way that we lost her. I mean, she didn't do anything wrong. Just going to return a rental car. It's been rough for my whole family, especially my mother. The mother of Shawana Pierce couldn't even walk as crowds gathered to remember her daughter, memorializing the spot where she took her last breath. She left behind three sons, Kelby, um, Colby, and Cody, which they've all had their birthdays this year um, without their mother. The boys were numb today, their aunt telling us at times they're afraid to step outside. Their mother, Shawana Pierce, was gunned down exactly a year ago. She was caught in the crossfire. Her life cut short when a bullet pierced her car and struck her in the head. Also killed was five-year-old Brianna Allen. Tonight, her grandmother stands with Shawana's family, marching and pleading for healing. That was my love. That was my granddaughter, five years old. She had just graduated the day before that. That was my love. Two families torn by violence, two of several throughout the city. Two that admit the pain is still there, but for them, justice has been served. I will always love you. It's not going to bring her back, but it did bring us a little sense of peace, knowing that the guys who did it are behind bars, and they're going to pay for what they did. The district attorney's office says tonight five men are behind bars. Four of them are charged with murder and face life in prison. Another one is facing 50 plus years for being an accessory. All five have been linked to the one tenors gang. Kurt, an emotional evening for many in Central City. Absolutely. You can see it in the video. Thank you, Vanessa.